So after I cheated on my husband, I gave him a hall pass. But here's the reason why I did that. is because I didn't want to take the responsibility of getting rid of all demons that I opened up my marriage to. And usually this is what people do when they cheat. They want their of their spouse to cheat on them back so it would give them a reason to feel better in some way. But let me tell you, that's the wrong way to do it. It's the wrong way to go about it because at the end of the day, you make matters worse. And even though I knew that that option was put forth in front of me, I knew that wasn't the right choice. Yeah. That's not the way that we try to rebuild a marriage. If you want to stay in a marriage that's still on a downfall and just ride it out downhill, that's up to you if you want to make that choice. But I was not about to make that same choice if I know I also have another option of getting back in the face of God, praying for my marriage, praying for my wife, and trying to do the things and correct the wrongs that we had that led us into that position. Can you imagine just how many people would want to be saved and follow Jesus by way of you just telling your testimony? And the reason why I say this is because a lot of us are afraid to tell our testimonies because, uh, or, or afraid or ashamed to tell what Jesus has brought us from because we've come from some dirty stuff. Like, be honest, dirty. But what's even more true is the fact that Jesus saved you from it. You don't look like what you went through. You are literally a new creature in him. You no longer think the same, no longer behave the same. You are literally in him and rest in him knowing that you will never go back to that place again because you love him so much that you 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 just want to follow him and anything that would keep you away from him shun away all evil that's what our bible tells us just imagine if you were to tell your testimony just tell exactly what jesus brought you from you see i'm not ashamed to tell people that i was once an adulterer i'm not ashamed to tell people that i, I once ended up in the psychiatric ward for almost for trying to kill myself I, i'm not ashamed to tell them that because people need the truth and not only that but that testimony reveals the death a burial and a resurrection it reveals Jesus so when people hear that the right person who may be going through the exact same thing or maybe one second away or one day away two days away from committing suicide you have literally just planted the seed of truth in them that because Jesus did it for you he can absolutely do it for them you can no longer be ashamed as Christians you see literally on TV and you see on social media the enemy is bold with his message so we've got to become bolder with ours we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony and that jesus reigns above every single devil so i just wanted to encourage you today to tell your testimony ask the holy spirit to lead you to someone to tell your testimony of what jesus saved you from because somebody needs to hear it Kings, I think I threw up in my mouth a little after watching this shit. What is it about black women that makes them constantly strive to emasculate their men? What is it? Can somebody clue me in as to why black women are hardwired to destroy their men? Inquiring minds really want to know, and I suppose it's all part of the plan considering our storied history that gender war many will lie about and tell you doesn't exist. Here we have another black male cuckolded, emasculated, and finally gaslighted using the Bible, probably the King James Version. I'm not telling this man how to live his life, but I simply posit that continuing to give relationship advice after the fact is distinctly hypocritical. This woman has done the unthinkable and shows no true remorse because the public should not be privy to the inner workings and details of their married life, Christian or not. The fact that this woman is parading her indiscretion in front of the world while parading her neutered husband in front of the camera is egregious. I was sickened by a few of the clips and had to cut it short. She cheated on this man. She had sex with another man outside of the marriage going against that Bible she claims to believe in. If I were pastor of her church, I would ask her to leave and never return. Looking at this man doing a jig like a trained monkey while laser focused on his wife's face made me angry and sad at the same time. 
This male believes the hype. This male has had his fair share of that cheap grape drink Kool-Aid they've been serving in the black community for well over four and a half generations. He can never be a man in that sham marriage, and his on-paper wife knows this. She is an adult able to make decisions about her life and give consent. She knew what she was doing and what it could mean to that scam marriage. This woman knew what kind of male she was married to. She took advantage of his weakness when she should have been making him strong. I want to say that women have lost the riddle of steel, but that would be a lie. When you see women doing this kind of thing, that is a conscious decision on their part to defraud their life partner and invalidate the legal marriage instead of just getting a divorce and walking away. I wonder how she would react if her wife husband asked for a polygraph test. On that same note, I wonder how she would react if he asked for dissolution of the marriage and trial separation with reconciliation contingent on her signature on a one-sided post-nuptial agreement. Men with common sense know the answer to those questions. Consider this, after she cheated, slept with another man, this woman offered her husband a hall pass. For those of you not in the know, that means she gave consent for her husband to have sexual intercourse with another woman. Does that sound like accountability? This woman, supposedly highly religious and a devout Christian, broke her marriage vows before the face of the Most High to sleep with some guy. She fucked someone other than her husband. And then she offers him a hall pass. Does that read or make it seem like she sees any real inherent value that he adds to her life, emotionally or otherwise? She fucks around and then, instead of dealing with it like an adult and freeing this man from emotional slavery, offers him the opportunity to get his dick wet by sticking it in a rando female. Does that sound like she loves him? Does that sound like she cherishes him? Does that even sound like she honors him, Kings? In each and every one of the clips, this emasculated male cuckold has visible trouble keeping his eyes off his wife looking on well, I guess lovingly. The abuse is written all over his face, and I wager he is tormented by the mental images of her fucking some other guy. She doesn't care, and reads as a malignant sociopath, especially after taking her disgusting betrayal public for clicks and likes. It's enough to make a sane person ill. I experienced her utter contempt for this man with him as I watched. What are the odds this marriage will truly survive? Very slim in the long run, even if he is willing to look the other way, because she's already got away with it once, and statistics say cheaters repeat after reconciliation. The smile on her childish face reads now more like some sort of demonic grimace in hindsight. There's nothing you can do for a man who is making a conscious choice to live inside this woman's purse. He's the backup guy in his own marriage. She fucked another guy and had the audacity to put her husband in the friend zone. Make that shit make sense, Kings. He needs a friend. But I doubt she would allow that. She's gonna keep this man in a bubble isolated from the rest of the world. Some black women would glibly say that she has him well-trained and applaud her for getting away with the okey doke Then in their next breath talk about how all black men are dogs and dusties for cheating and making them baby mamas. His father should take a razor strap to his hide for accepting a malfeasant lifestyle and afterwards tell him that he killed what was left of the marriage by accepting her insincere, hypocritical remorse and rug-sweeping of her affair. This woman is disgusting, and she is supposed to be a child of God. Go figure. Keep your head on a swivel, protect your bag, and above all else, protect your seed. Do not make a fallen woman the steward of your children, your family, and definitely not your legacy. Kings, S-Y-S-B-M means save yourself black men. Black Patriarchy A non-existent group of fictional black male power brokers not discredited, erroneously jailed or outright killed by the minority majority who look the other way as they work tirelessly to shame, oppress, and outright take out the altruistic black female populace of the honorable democratic United States of America. 3K's inset bitches. These evil wealthy members of the black patriarchy are the sole reason for all the ills of the black community walking, talking, holding down jobs and doing everything up to and including giving their very lives in service to their baby mamas and babies motherfucking kids. Their motto that strikes fear into the hearts of black women everywhere, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks.